Hi guys, Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the 2018 FIFA World Cup DLC for FIFA 18 with Germany because Germany were the underperformers of the 2018 World Cup. Of course, they won it in 2014. Then coming into 2018, they got eliminated in the group stage thanks to South Korea. I'm thinking to myself that maybe we can try and win this World Cup with Germany. I think most of the bigger teams will come close to it, especially nations like France and um, England who are very overpowered on this game. But yeah, today I decided to start with Germany. Alright then, so let's have a look at the squad for Germany and there's a lot of recognisable players. They will be on these bigger sides and um, we've got Timo Werner up front, Marco Royce in um, the middle here. We've got Julian Draxler out on the wing and Thomas Muller as well. We've got Sammy Kadira and Cruz in those uh, midfield central positions. We've got Boateng at the back, Kimmich on the right. And Hummels in the middle, 90 rated. That seems a little bit high, right? Um, we've got Hector out on the left here. And Neuer in goal, of course. I put Ozil in the middle because he's quite high rated. I put Royce out on the left. And um, that's it. And then I put Sane in the, on the bench because um, he was pretty good at the time. And, um, of course, I brought Navri forward in the reserves and Goethe a little bit forward as well. There'll be a lot of football experts in the comments saying, hey, you shouldn't have done that, you know, blah, blah, blah. But this is my German team and I want to try and win with my German team. The first match is against Mexico, which uh, we always do on legendary difficulty because it's the best way to play. Germany actually lost against Mexico in their first match of the World Cup. So I'm hoping that won't repeat itself here. Um, if you want my early prediction for this run, we should be close to winning it. Maybe like semi-final or maybe a final appearance for Germany. It's nice that we're starting to do some of the bigger nations now. This might be a harder group than I anticipate, to be honest. Just because I saw those names doesn't mean that it's going to be any easier than any of the other groups that I could have potentially got. Crossed in. That's a good cross. And oh, what a save by Ochoa. I thought I snuck that one in, but clearly not. I decided to feature Ozil because he is a good playmaker in the midfield area. And Ozil, oh, he did like some sort of like flick shot. I didn't intend to do that, but it almost went in. Look at that. Can we get the cross in? It's crossed in. And again, Achoa stops us from getting a shot off. Well, it's half time and it's still nil-nil between these two. Had a couple of shots, but nothing too imposing on the Mexicans. Into the middle here. Ozil to Marco Royce. Oh, what a save by Ochoa. Again, he denies us. It's Timo Werner into the middle here. Ozil off the post. Are you kidding me? Because Mexico, they've just turned me there into the box and just cut out. I'm a bit concerned with Germany right now. They don't seem to be the team that I kind of want them to be. I think what we probably need to do is I think Leroy Sane needs to come on and um, I think maybe Gundogan. Yeah, Gundogan could come on in that sort of area there. He can be quite effective. Come on. Push forward, Kroos. Out to Sane. Come on. This is probably one of the last chances. Crossed in. Oh, the header missed by Timo Werner is Tony Kroos. Oh, tackled. Through ball, Timo Werner here. Twisting and turning to Sane. Oh, it's cut out by Mexico and I think it's going to be a draw. A uh, really poor effort from Germany, really. Um, defensively good, but yeah, no. Attacking-wise, really wasn't there today, unfortunately. The amount of players I put on and push forward and everything, they just were not doing enough. So Germany get a poor draw against Mexico. What about Chile and Japan? It's a 2-0 to Chile. Our next match then is against Chile. They lead the group only by about two points since we got a draw. So if we beat Chile here, then we'll go top of the group. Chile playing the ball around really nicely at the moment. They've just twisted me there. Um, I'm a bit afraid. Oh, good save by Neuer. And um, we can breathe a little bit. Thomas Muller out to Erzil again. Through ball. Timo Werner. He scored. Nice one. Finally, uh, he gets on the score sheet. And that is 1-0 against Chile. It was just a simple through ball here by Ozil to unlock the defence. Werner using that strength quite well and just taps it into the bottom corner. Germany have finally got a goal in this World Cup. Can they hold on to it and build on it and start to build some form and actually get out the group stage in this one? Tony Kroos. Oh, it's blocked and it goes out for a corner to Germany. 
and um, hopefully we can get a header off here, crossed in, Botang's there, and oh, just hooked away, another header, and it goes through Claudio Bravo, and I think that's Timo Werner again with a goal, and that is 2-0 to Germany, poor goalkeeping by one of my favourite goalkeepers, Claudio Bravo. It's half time then, and Germany are leading Chile 2 0, as expected to be honest. I didn't think I'd be dropping a game against Chile. Um, possibly conceding against them, yeah, maybe, if like Sanchez or someone like that. Tony Kroos, let's go for it. Ooh, good save by Claudia Bravo. I thought I was going top corner. And we have a corner. Crossed in. Head oh, it wasn't a header, it was actually a, um, like a scissor kick sort of thing, and Hummel scores to make it 3-0. 90 rated Hummels, by the way, as well. I still think that's quite high, unless he did something special in 2018, I don't know, but that's higher than Van Dyke. And, um, you know, you can make the argument that Van Dyke wasn't as good as he is now, back in 2018, but, you know what I mean? Like, it does seem ridiculously high, but that was a great strike. Over the top here to Marco Royce. Out of stamina, but I think we could just get in across, possibly. No. Okay. I've thrown off the ball. Chile have been okay defensively, even though they've been, well, beaten 3-0 here. Um, at times, when I've gone through, they just shrugged me off the ball like I'm absolutely nothing. That could be a concern going into later matches against bigger teams for Germany. But, um, yeah, good result here. So, we've got four points. I'm guessing Mexico did beat Japan, so we should be okay, possibly. I, I mean, Mexico got Chile, they got to play each other, that could go either way. Um, Japan shouldn't beat me, but if they do, fair play. Third and final match of the group stage for Germany is against Japan. Shouldn't have too many problems with this one, although, I don't know, maybe Japan could do something in this one. I doubt it though, I think Germany are a little bit too strong. Into the mid hall, it's blocked by Japan. They're being so resilient because they know they have. Um, well, I don't think they have a chance to go through. I think they just want to try and spoil my um, my party, just like South Korea did. But this time it's Japan that are trying to do it. Over the top, that's a good ball. It's Nabri. Oh, didn't have to be that powerful, but the goalkeeper saves it, and it's a corner. Here's Nabri. Look how fast he can run. But again, there's no real options for Germany going forward. There's only Werner, but he's always like surrounded by defenders. Werner. Timo Werner, good save, and Thomas Muller collects it, and that is 1 0 to Germany. Good tap in, very good control as well to actually like bring it down and actually like get the chance off. So Germany have taken the lead, and it is 1 0 just before half time. Been a bit of a struggle. Um, to score at times with Germany, but I kind of expected it going into this run because most of these German players um, are kind well, some of them are aging, they're on like the fringe of like aging and youth coming through, if you know what I mean. It's very weird. So it's half time, and we're leading Japan 1 0 thanks to that man there. Through ball here to Thomas Muller, and good save by the Japanese goalkeeper. It's Tony Kroos. Oh, good save again. Through ball here to Werner. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. That's another goal for Werner at this World Cup. And that is 2-0 to Germany. And um, great performance. Really great performance. Can't celebrate too much because I'm a big team, you know. But um, I think I'll be celebrating more once I get to the round of 16 quarterfinal stages. Oh, Muto. It's gone through, and he scores. Okay, well, that was a defensive breakdown, and Japan have got one back. Literally, after I was making subs, they do one through ball, and literally score from it. And there we go, we just beat in Japan 2-1. It was a bit of a dead game, to be honest, in terms of, like, highlight moments and stuff. Like, yeah, we did score two goals, but... I don't know, it just felt like Japan were just being intentionally frustrating, even though they've already been eliminated. So Germany have gone through. Who else has gone through? It's Mexico alongside of me as well. And that means that I've got Iceland in my round of 16 match. So that was quite lucky that we got Iceland, because otherwise we would have ran into England. Um, I guess that would have been the better match, to be honest. But England beat Mexico 4-0. Italy beat Switzerland 3-0. You've got Portugal versus Greece. Brazil versus Spain. Then we've got Germany versus Iceland. Belgium versus Denmark. Poland versus Serbia. And Uruguay versus Croatia. Round of 16 time then against Iceland. They shouldn't pose too much of a problem to me. But, I mean, there's every chance they could. 
and knock me out. If they play well enough, I play badly. I don't want to do an England in um, Euro 2016 or whenever it was, you know, when England got knocked out by Iceland. Muller plays the ball, but again, Iceland block it. I expect Iceland will be very defensive in this one. Um, just like the other group participants that we had back in the group stages. But I'm sure Germany should have the talent to beat Iceland. Good ball to Thomas Muller. What a ball that was and what a shot and what a goal. The assist was better than the goal to be honest with you. But Thomas Muller won't care. It's 1-0 over Iceland. Look at this assist by Timo Werner right through the middle there to allow Thomas Muller to go through and tap it in. That was pretty good, to be honest. Oh, I keep missing tackles, and Iceland just put it wide. I just need to get better at my tackling. Crossed in by Iceland. They got it here. I missed the tackle, and they scored. They literally just like dribbled past two of my defenders and scored, and that is 1-1. One, one. That's really disappointing defending from myself. I thought I had him there. Let's have a look at this again. Look. Gets it there, goes past me, does a little shimmy, and then just uh, taps it into the back of the net. Julian Draxler. It's Draxler, yes! Nice one, what a goal that was, and that is 2-1 to Germany. It's half time then, and it's 2-1 to Germany. Uh, don't underestimate Iceland though, because they could potentially come back into the game again. Remember, a team like Iceland have got a lot of heart and a lot of desire. Can we mount a counter attack and get that? Crucial third goal that we need to go into the quarterfinals. Draxler pushing without stamina and he just gets taken out. No free kick or nothing, so I'm going to have to take some of these players off because they're slowing down really quickly. Out to Muller. Oh, just deflected out. Back in. Oh, what a save by the Icelandic keeper. Goretzka. Yes, he scores. Nice one. He had to turn round then and shoot. And that is 3-1. And you have to say now that this is over. Through ball by Kroos to Werner. Yep, yeah, that's 4-1. And that is 100% game over now. Germany just too strong for Iceland here. Look, all it took was one through ball. I found the gap. And it was just so easy, especially with world-class players. Goretzka, good cross, good header. And that's 5 Timo Werner again. This almost seems cruel on Iceland because we had him only at 2-1 for ages and now we've just exploded into life with Germany here. Cross that in. Werner, yes, he scored again. And that is six. Six for Germany. Well, I feel bad for Iceland really, to be honest. But at least it's still not as bad as the Germany versus Brazil in 2014. I mean, that was an extra goal. But, I mean, this is Iceland, not Brazil. It's finished here, and um, what a great result for Germany. 6-1 over Iceland, okay? Yeah, you can make the argument Iceland are way weaker than Germany in terms of football and stuff, but it was a great result. I mean, coming away with six goals. So, what happened in the other games then? So, uh, Belgium beat Denmark 1-0. So we got Belgium next. Portugal beat Greece 5-1. Brazil beat Spain 2-1. Poland beat Serbia on penalties. And Croatia beat Uruguay 1-0. Italy then lost against England. And Brazil beat Portugal. Germany versus Belgium. The first other big team that we got to play in this World Cup. We have ran into sort of like average teams and slightly below average teams. But now we are against some of the big boys now. It's going to be tough against Belgium. It's not going to be like Iceland where we can just walk all over them. We have to be good in this match. To Julian Draxler. Oh, just clipped there from uh, Witzel. You can tell it's Witzel because it's not his actual player face. He got done dirty in the FIFA games before then. Crossed in and oh, that was a poor shot by Belgium. They could have scored. Half time then, the scores a lot level at 0 0. Very competitive game between these two. More shots for Germany, just haven't been that clinical. Same for Belgium as well, they haven't been clinical on theirs. Royce on the ball and it's cut out again by Belgium. It's been one of those games, it really has. Just not very entertaining. I apologise for that, but sometimes it is what it is. I don't know why I didn't put on the wingers such as Sane and um, Gnabry as well. So I'm going to have to make do of what I got. 
um, put Urzu on and Gundawan as well. That's the only thing I can do. De Bruyne out to Carrasco. Carrasco! Oh, that was so close. He could have stolen it at the end. We're going to extra time here in this one. Germany and Belgium, lock level still. Been a really tough game. Like, the shots we've had haven't been really good ones. Like, don't let those stats fool you. Crossed in by Muller and it's just headed away. Werner back into the box. Oh, that's good control. And yes, we scored. Nice. I think that was Tony Kroos. Yes, it was Tony Kroos. Nice. And it's 1-0 to Germany in the 99th minute. And we just need to hold on now. Unlikely source of goals, really, um, in this gameplay. But he comes up with a massive one here. Great technique. And he puts it past Courtois. Kroos forward to Werner. He still has stamina. And so does Vincent Company. He's been in company's back pocket all game. What a ball that was. And yes! Yes! That is it. Erzil scores a scissor kick. That was a great scissor kick by Erzil. Brilliant cross by Timo Werner as well. I mean, company, like I said, had Werner in his back pocket all game. And then Erzil just does something like that. Look at that. And that's it. Germany have advanced to the semi-finals of the World Cup. Incredible stuff from the Germans. So who are we against then? So obviously, oh, it's Croatia. Okay, so we got to play Croatia. Another tough team with a golden generation. And if we get through, we get to play England in the final. We have to try and go through because meeting England in the final is um, a prospect that I just don't want to miss out on. Right, just so I remember this time. I need to put on some wingers in the reserves so that, you know, we don't get screwed over by um, stamina and everything like that. Here we go then, semi-final time against Croatia. It's Kroos versus Modric, two teammates at Real Madrid who have achieved so much in their years there. And um, I cannot wait to see what is going to happen. It's probably going to be a midfield battle. Never ever underestimate Croatia. They're, this is the best version of Croatia that we can play. Thomas Muller. Oh my god, what a goal that was by Muller. What a strike that was after the foul by Luka Modric. And Thomas Muller pulls out an amazing shot out the bag to make it 1-0. Look at this. From the free kick that Modric gave away, we passed it to Muller. I thought I'd go for it. And that was just an amazing strike into the back of the net. It's all been about Germany. We've held on to possession quite well. Croatia have barely gone through, which is what ideally I want. Through ball. That's a good pass, but what a save that was by the Croatian goalkeeper. It's half time then, and Germany are leading thanks to that Thomas Muller strike from around about sort of 25, 30 yards out. And um, we've kept Croatia at bay here for now. He crosses it in. That's a decent one. Oh, just didn't find anybody. Tony Kroos. Oh, I thought he scored. I think that came pretty close, didn't it? Stole it away from Modric and look how close that was. Uh-oh, Croatia. Oh, we just denied Mandzukic the chance to try and score. It's only 10 minutes to play. Croatia have barely done anything up front. We've been really good defensively and that gives me confidence if we're going to go to the final against England because... England are a very overpowered team on this DLC. Nabry. Werner. Oh, I didn't want it to him. Sane. He scored. And that is two. I thought it was offside. He's the hero, this one. He just come on and scored the basically the winning goal to go through. Croatia could have the chance to get back in this game, but they haven't done much. And we are going to the final with Germany. Incredible, really. I thought that was offside. So, uh, you know, it looked it. But then I guess the one of the players was keeping us onside. And there we go. We've beaten Croatia in the semis. And we're going to the final against England. It's just like 1966 all over again. England faced Germany in a World Cup final. So who won the third place playoff then? I'm guessing it's Brazil, possibly. Yeah, okay. Cool. So we've got to play England now. This is going to be such a fun match. I hope it is anyway. I hope it's just not, you know, the the typical, you know, England, like, destroy me or whatever. Hang on a sec. I'll put England in red and us in white. That only seems fair, doesn't it? Still on legendary, if you are wondering, because, you know, I never change it. 
Um, we've been blitzing through this campaign. Here we go then, World Cup final time, England versus Germany. When was the last time this happened? 1966, right? Surely, I mean, I know England and Germany have faced each other in quarterfinals and semi-finals and, you know, countless World Cups, but in a final again, that is special. Imagine this though, in an actual World Cup final again, Germany versus England. I think in real life, Germany might actually lose to England, you know. And that's not me being biased. I just think that England are very strong and they've already scored. And that's Eric Dyer with the goal. That's so annoying, man. I hate Eric Dyer so much. He's such a bad player. This is what I mean. Like, like okay, like Walker Stones and Vardy and Harry Kane did go to the World Cup. But then you've got defenders like Cahill and Jones who didn't go to the World Cup. And I say it all the time when I play England. Like, why are they so good on this game? Through ball here. Marco Royce. Yes, it's 1-1. And we're back on level terms. What a strike that was by Marco Royce of all players. Let's hope that there isn't a 1966 moment in this final where the ball like comes off the line and stuff. I mean, I know we have VAR, so it will rule it out. Through ball. Marco Royce. Marco Royce. Oh, just wide. It's running. It's passed most of the England defence. And we get brought down in the box, and that is going to be a penalty. Germany have the chance to go 2-1 up now um, with Thomas Muller's penalty. Can we do it? It's Muller versus Butland, and we scored. Nice. And it's 2-1 to Germany in the final. Nicely placed penalty by Thomas Muller. I thought Jack Butland actually saved it, but he did some odd save. He didn't even put his hand up or anything to get that. And Germany have got the advantage now in the final. Danny Rose for England, down to Harry Kane. Tackled by Boateng. Our defence has been really strong so far to hold off England. Even though they have scored, but ever since then, we've been really strong. It's half time then, and Germany are winning 2-1 in the final against England. Can England turn this around? Or will Germany uh, be able to double their advantage and go on and win this historic World Cup final? England making a triple substitution already in the 66th minute. Um, is that some sort of like omen or something? They did it in the 66th minute? That's really strange that they would have done that, right? A triple sub in the 66th minute. It's been a bit stale now ever since the penalty. I think Germany are kind of just sort of content with sitting back and letting England press them and then tackling them at the last minute. That better not be a penalty. Kane did go down in the box. England are ultra attacking right now. Looking for that goal back. So desperate to get that goal back. It comes England. And oh, just blocked. Sterling again. Oh, thankfully, Neuer saves it. Thomas Muller. Here we go. Could be a big finish for Germany. If we get this cross off. Good cross. And oh, what a save by Butland. I thought he scored. I thought that was game over. I thought we won the World Cup. Come on, the two minutes are almost up. Good tackle. And that's going to be it. Germany have won the World Cup and if they did this in 2018 in real life it would have been back to back World Cups. That would have been impressive wouldn't it? We blew up against Iceland and then we beat Belgium in extra time. Then obviously beat Croatia as well quite convincingly. And then in this one we held on against England. We came back from 1-0 down to win the World Cup and that's extraordinary. Germany have done it against their bitter rivals England. And I'll leave you with the celebrations. I really hope you enjoyed this run with Germany. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video. This competition to a man. They gave it their all out there. Champions of the world. The best feeling in the world. They're on top of the world. There's a real togetherness amongst those players. Sharing it with the supporters. And they'll know where their families are as well. Forever linked with Moscow. Forever linked with Russia. As the photographers gather for these prime pictures of the winners of the FIFA World Cup 2018.